Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. It's the Soul Family Read for the weekend, most significantly of the 4th of December. The eclipse at 12 degrees Sag, 10 degree Mars Sag here, four planets in Mars. <laughs> so what I'm asking, when I do this reading, I'm going to do all 12 signs. When I just pull through the deck, I shuffle the light for an hour. It's kind of my meditation before we started this morning. Thank God it's quiet. Let's hope it stays that way. And we'll try to move through a little quick, keep to the like four minute readings. I was already started and had a technical problem, so I don't want to let go of that reading for Aries. But what I'm asking here is spirit, the name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good. Show me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to hear. And that's for me what this eclipse is about. Um, really aligning myself with spirit, but I mean, it's hitting me in the kisser, man. You know? So, um, I know too, uh, as we, I'll just start over with this, okay? Um, <clears throat> because Aries, I was saying, this could speak to an earth uh, transit in your natal or progress chart, something like this. But you're in a place, if this resonates with you, whether you're young or you're probably not a little bit older. Um, you're substantial. You work to get there. You have what you need. You're secure. You also, it's kind of second house energy too, right? Taurus, um, the what's real and also money, finances. Uh, someone who might be secure even in that way. Um, and you might be a boss at a company. You could be a mother. You could be a father because you could be someone that takes care of other people. The Queen of Pentacles is known to take the best care of her kingdom. The kingdom in astrology, by the way, is the sun. It's our sun self is what we naturally want to be. You want to be an Aries. Now, I just got to say, girlfriend's an Aries. Amazing woman. <laughs> um, but uh, there's so much an earth energy. She's so grounded. I, I'm To me, she's like a Zen master. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, it's like just watching her move and everything the way she is. There's there's just not the slightest rashness to anything about her, really. Um, and so you can never know by the sun sign exactly. But in any case, it's a great energy to have here. Think about how we're going into the eclipse. What is our energy in and around you know, manifestation, spirituality, love, relationships, as we go into this eclipse. And this is solid, too. I was saying, I feel like with this energy, you know, uh, there's a karma here that's coming. And, you know, it's not uh, going to get you karma. I don't think karma is about, like, uh, punishment. It's just about uh, balance and understanding. And um, it's things keep coming back until we understand them, you know. But the energy you're in right now, uh, Aries, this is very important. Uh, you're trying to control things. This is uh, not uh, lying, cheating, and stealing here. This is uh, um, a strategic thinking. But it's trying to like control and think through and get, you know, and, and really uh, important comes to just stop this. This is really what, what you don't want right here in this eclipse. It's like, uh, that's corny, but, you know, have you ever done, like, the trust fall, you had therapy, or maybe your company, you know, forced you to, got to help you as soon as you get in management, you have to go to the most ridiculous classes, you know, and it's always in another city, I've stayed at a sleazy hotel, but anyway, that's a whole thing, <laughs> um, but um, whatever you have to do to kind of, you know, you know, get a grip on this right here, uh, because it's, it, I could just see right now, we'll see what's coming up. Um, it could be in some way, and you're looking right back at that Queen of Pentacles. Definitely this would be holding you back here, you know. Um, I guess it's kind of like saying, be, become a more relaxed queen. Look at her, she's in repose. Very calm, very relaxed. She's calmly holding her pinnacle there. Um... And that's kind of how you want to go into this. Um, and you know, maybe maybe you could say he's kind of looking back wistfully at the queen. You know, it is kind of this death and rebirth. The whole thing's been going on since Lionsgate, this energy now. This is now the eclipse of the sun, divine masculine. Um, 
two degrees off my Mars, so I know. Maybe this is you kind of looking back and saying goodbye, that part of yourself that was trying to control and trying to outthink and, you know, um, wow, absolutely. And then the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, this opens up to you. Jupiter has got to be important. I, oh, I got it right here, so I'm getting trying to get used. 22 degrees and 42 minutes exact today, 22 degrees. For Jupiter in Aquarius has got to be significant if you know your natal chart if you don't there's easy to run one any number of services now um, that's going to be really important for you Aquarius and Jupiter's going to be doing a whole lot of good stuff and it's all about freedom freedom so maybe this is like breaking free inside yourself uh, and with this thought pattern and it opens up really <laughs> Could definitely be your manifestation this is a gift this is usually positive this comes out it's big energy right major arcana is something outside of your control and here you are with the page of wands uh, as the overall energy which i count highly in this little four card reading um, and i think that's saying that some kind of action is going to be required and you're probably going to be in contact with the fire sign and this is not about love but this is a message. I mean, I'm a fire sign. Could be this message right here. I like to overblow myself, but it's just a page. It's like this, is, this could be a thought in your own mind, but maybe fire sign. Maybe something triggered. Maybe I'm walking. You know, a lot of times when I go out walking, it's like getting high or something. Mine starts clicking, clicking because the endorphins start, start kicking in. Um, and, you know, you get these epiphanies, you know. It could be like shoots just stepping up on the curb. It hits you, you know. There's some kind of physical, maybe when you sit up out of bed, boom, and it's like this, this message coming in, it, but it's something about action, it's like, uh, I got, uh, what do they call the sleeper cells activated, you know, they say, oh yeah, they're, they're really Russian spies, but they live here for 30 years, they have a complete life, and they activate them, um, and, you know, what are you going to be activated in, it's something big. It's something karmic, and it's. Uh, I think it's going to be good and juicy. I was saying other than that. So, thank you, Aries. Um, moving right along. Uh, going to do Taurus now. This is for the weekend of the fourth. The um, uh, eclipse of the sun now. Huh? That's kind of how I'm going to look at this reading. <clears throat> Focusing here more on metaphysics and spirituality manifestation this area of our lives is pulling through the deck Taurus this is where you're at in terms of um, manifestation and spirituality look at how balanced and solid this is okay um, Aries came in with a Queen of Pentacles this is not unlike that energy showing where you're at here um, when I see a six of Pentacles that minor arcana as opposed to the major arcana that's the big things faith guides, angels, God, source, um, and you see it, uh, but this is uh, nuts and bolts, this is us rolling up our sleeves day to day, making choices, doing, not doing, here probably doing, so it's like working to achieve this place in life um, where you're kind of strong and balanced um, and kind of whole, I really like it here in this position. Again, it's <clears throat> the perfect energy to go into, kind of like I say of the Queen of Pentacles, because I think there's karma involved here, and not the karma of, um, you know, going to get you karma, but lessons and balance and energy. And, you know, we have to keep repeating things because we haven't learned. Um, and here, it's like you're at this place where you've kind of balanced and learned. Um, it's kind of like, too, being really ready to take off. Um, wow. Wow. Ten of Cups. This is to express where you are right now. But in this reading, I'm seeing this one here too, uh, the here and now, as a kind of advice from Spirit here uh, to go with you and then the outcome. And what a beautiful Ten of Cups too. This is the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. And just gorgeous. This is being totally emotionally fulfilled. You know, it comes to mind, like uh, <clears throat> Stephen Arroyo, who I've mostly read for astrology, kind of my mentor. Um, 
you know, when he says, in order to get into this Piscean energy, a very spiritual, um, lofty energy, you have to first give your due to Saturn. Like, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, you know, and unto God what is God's. To get a little biblical there. Um, and I see that here. It's like you've you've done the work, you've you've given the you built the base here, really by with your own hands. This is like you with no one helping you, brick by brick, you know, building your house or something, you know. And now uh, once you do that, it's like you're being gifted probably right now. You might be feeling it, hopefully in this very reading feeling it too. Um <clears throat> that uh um you're feeling this emotional fulfillment. Um, it might uh, be like the culmination. Here's the uh, the eclipse coming in um, on the fourth now, Saturday now. Uh, this very weekend, um, and kind of just cracking something open, and maybe your heart, you could say, and, but in a good way, not like in a bad way, not like where someone breaks it, but where you can just open up and be genuinely loving and free and. You know, it's like, you know, this could be just absolutely life-changing. It's very internal. And um, here, and let's see what we get for the outcome. Wow. And I was about to say, I said it. I was looking at this 10th I said, you're very well set up to move into this energy. And with this uh, six of pentacles here, and now what do you get? And then the 10 of pentacles to go with it. That's as good as it gets right there. And I'm telling you what, another thing that keeps coming to mind through the sweat of your brow, ain't nobody gave you nothing for us. Ain't nobody like gave you nothing. You earned this uh, top to bottom. So honestly, respect. That's what I get out of this. Solid, solid. And this is like well earned. I mean, and, and it's not just it's security, financial security, yes. Abundance, yes. Security, yeah. Abundance, and above all else, this is just a feeling that you're okay, this is a, a great energy, this is Taurus, this is the second house, this is like the sun, well aspected in the second house, boom, ten of uh, pinnacles, and being emotionally fulfilled, and I think too, it's like uh, really shifting into a kind of new, more spiritual side of yourself here, guys, um, but I really like it. Gemini's, thanks for joining me. Reading through the deck today for the Soul Family Read, focusing on manifestation, spirituality, love, and relationship. And thinking about the weekend of the 4th here, particularly with the eclipse of the sun, divine masculine energy. I think it's kind of like this um, bookend to the 8-8 Lions Gate, which I've been talking about in these Soul Family Reads. You can go back. I think these readings, I put time on them and a date, but... They're, they're more uh, just a process. <laughs> so this old man reads, I think, are timeless reads. But today I'm reading for you, personally, uh, Jim and I's here for this uh, weekend, in terms of how we're looking in light of the Lionsgate energy. So this is how you're coming into it. Whew. Look at some powerful cards here. Hierophant, Pope on Earth, uh, Taurus energy, heaven on earth, um, manifestation, uh, having, having, this is the manifestation, you know, um, where the rubber meets the road, the Hierophant here, this is your energy in terms of this, uh, Lionsgate eclipse, um, in, of the eclipse this weekend, I mean, in the Lionsgate energy, um, very high functioning, a uh, very spiritual, I think I'm speaking to here, a very spiritual uh, Gemini here. Let's see what's going on. Holy moly. <clears throat> the fool coming after the hair font. That's powerful. You know, it's like uh, I get the feeling here, Gemini, too. It's like you, you reach such a level that you, you end up kind of skipping a grade. That makes sense. They want to do that to me when I was in ninth grade. They're going to move me all the way up to college. <laughs> I said, like, no. That'd have to be the fool energy. I get that feeling like uh, the, you're coming into this eclipse, okay, Gemini? And it's going to hit you. And another thing is, like, you could be in this energy right now. Let it go. Do it. Just do it. 
this is totally not the time to listen to other people, probably on, well, within reason, you know, we trusted lawyers and accountants, etc., uh, uh, therapists, uh, but this is not the time to listen to the naysayers uh, in your life. You know, uh, with the hair plant too, it's kind of like I know. The hair plant knows. He, he's going to tell everyone else what he or she, what's right, what's wrong. That's that's who you go to, okay? And now with the full energy, for the hair plant to go into the full energy, it's just, it's purely metaphysical here. It's um, some kind of manifestation and action. It's a trust fall into the arms of the universe. Imagine the hair plant of all making a trust fall. Really let them, uh, themselves be vulnerable. You know, there's no hint of spiritual pride here with the fool. The fool is genuine. The fool is authentic. I love the fool energy. Let's see where we're going with this major arcana here. The two of swords. Near future. Guys, I think there's going to be a really hard decision that you're going to have to make. I got the feeling why I keep wanting to tell you, don't listen to what other people are saying. Okay, Jim and I, this is, I don't know, this is just an example. You could be, I live in Mexico, so I don't know, maybe you want to move overseas. And you, I know you tell people this, I moved to Belize originally, and they're like, oh my God, are you out of your, you know, a really concerned. And I think that's what this is. And that's, I, I'm kind of getting the feeling here is kind of a keep this and I'm just using that as an example metaphor could be anything like that but this might not be the time here uh, really with this two of swords it's kind of just keeping it to yourself dealing with it yourself right and not putting it on other people so whatever whatever it is you're getting ready to do it could be launching a business it could be quitting your job I'm getting ready to quit my job and start my career as a um, whatever it is right uh, but probably like if you told people, they'd be all like, oh my God, are you crazy? Don't jump off that cliff, you'll surely die. And you're like, no, I won't I have a fucking umbrella. <laughs> I'm good. I think that's what that is, guys. So, I mean, I think you could just save yourself a lot of grief if you kind of just do it and keep things to yourself and know that you are the only authority. You are there. You don't need anyone's permission, advice, anything got this Gemini thank you cancer welcome doing this soul family read went reading through the deck for each sign focusing on the eclipse at 12 degrees Sagittarius two degrees off of my Mars with a lot of Sag energy myself so wherever that is for you um, it's a big fucking deal sure <laughs> it's a couple days away now from where I'm, how I'm reading here um, and it's this very weekend, so uh, we'll kind of try to get an idea how things are going along the lines of this uh, eclipse. What's bringing in, bringing out, uh, manifestation, spirituality. Going back to Lion's Gates, how I'm thinking with this. This is a big weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, thank God for coffee. All right. Two of Pentacles, like this. We're kind of keeping a theme going here. Every card I'm getting is in one way or another kind of solid. Um, this is where you're at in terms of manifestation, spirituality, love, relationship, going into Lionsgate. It's really solid, but you're, it's not easy. You know, you're having to really bear down on your life. Um, I feel like I'm projecting here. This is, I feel this very strongly. I, I don't see this here in this reading as any kind of uh, juggling, really, other than... I mean, you're literally juggling. It's only 24 hours of the day, I know. And, you know, you want to do this, you want to do that. and um, tr But you're doing it. This is really doing it. This is getting your arms around your life. You've gotten your arms around your life. You know, you have a schedule that's healthy, that works for you. You get enough sleep. You're doing your work. You're taking care of what you, you're taking care of what needs to be taken care of, whatever that means for you, eating right, meditating, exercising. Uh, going to the doctor, um, anything that it is for you. Uh, but it's like you're kind of really having to put all your energy into it. But I would say that going into this eclipse here uh, for a cancer in this energy is going to work out great because uh, some of this is karmic. And again, it's not to me, 
about punishments, it's about balancing the energy, uh, lessons, lessons aren't learned, we revisit them, it's not anybody trying to punish us, it's just the soul has to learn these lessons, you know, and you see them in the natal chart, I believe as an astrologer, it's just a star map of the soul's purpose here, it's all right there. Um, but you're in, you're standing yourself in good stead here, moving into this energy. And I really like this because this is not only, you know, looking for ships to come in and all that, sure. But wands are actions now. And this is you busting a move, Cancer. You're busting a move. I'll put it like that. Because you've been in this energy. This can get a little old. This is not, it's not bad. It's, uh, you know, but, but if you do this on and on for months or years... Um, you want to bust out. You want to take a vacation. You want to bust a move. You want to take some action. You want to stretch your legs. Uh, and look, in this card, look at how it emphasizes. This is the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. Really emphasizes how it's looking off into these vast strides of sky and distance. And, you know, at these possibilities, really. It's the possibilities. It's like throwing up, throwing things out, opening... This sun is going to open you the fuck right up, Cancer. I'm telling you. It's going to open you right up. So if there's a moment of, <gasps> like someone just sliced your chest open with a surgical instrument, take a deep breath and say thank you. Because <laughs> it's what this is supposed to do here. Chariot. And it aligns you with your highest good. And out of this, you get the greatest victory possible total command of your spiritual life. This is the Cancer card, guys. This is you, Cancer, becoming fully yourself, taking full control of yourself. From here on out, you have the helm, a lot of responsibility. But this is very sudden, and it's all because you've been doing this work. And you've probably been so busy doing this work that you didn't even consider the possibility of an incredible eclipse coming in and just leveling you up, you know, to, you know, from the two of pentacles, you're going to be leveled up to like the ten of pentacles plus, plus cancer. Thank you, guys. All right. Leos, thanks for joining me. I'm reading through the deck here for the Soul Family, focusing on this weekend, the 4th of December. Uh, the eclipse of the sun, 12 degrees, Sagittarius, Sagittarius here, Mars at 10, I'm feeling it, so how are you guys doing with it, it could be hitting you pretty good, um, if you're Leo, at least your sun, you may have something else there, um, <clears throat> that's probably going to be a nice sextile for you, so here I'm going to kind of look at where you're at in terms of manifestation, spirituality, pulling through the deck today, for our Leo's Wow, the theme continues. Well, technically, yes, this is Aries energy. Could speak to Aries energy in your chart or in your progress chart. As an astrologer, I think these line up. This is a big deal, this eclipse. So wherever that 12 degrees Sag is hitting. Um, but this is you coming into this. You're set. This is what I'm getting out of this. Um, like, if you're in Leo, if, like right now, Wherever you're at, it's like this is it. And, and I think this is fine because honestly, I think the manifestations for now, for the this very significant year, they're already set on 8-8. Eight, eight. By the time that ended, we were already there. We just might not have seen it yet, you know, in the 3D. But look, he's kind of a little, a little arrogant. God's head up in the air here, Leo's. And um, that's okay. And remember this fire energy too. So you're someone that's ready to take action if necessary. Um, you know, look, he's also got like that crystal ball in his hand too. It's like he's just looked in the crystal ball and he knows the future. Now he's like, tell me. Tell me what you got to tell me. But I already know what's going to happen. So you know what I mean? Uh, you're a solid. Uh, let's see, because this is kind of also an advice card here, I see. I wanted to see. Because uh, I was going to say very much. I was about to say... I wonder if this is also advice for you to say, fuck everybody else, you're right. One time I was told this by the mushrooms, David, it's not your fault that you were right and the world is wrong. You call that delusional, but sometimes you need to hear that. You know, if that's all you ever hear, yeah, you're lost here. That's not what we're talking about. In this case, I think you're being told, 
and now we have the Ace of Cups. You were right, and they are wrong. This could be anything. If the Emperor, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants here, okay? So Leo rules the heart. That's your Balakwick. Um, and this is, this is love here. You know, this is not meant to be a love reading. But this too, with the Ace of Cups and the Emperor, I always say with the Emperor, the most protected, the strongest male, masculine force, the, the a solar eclipse of masculine, divine masculine energy, um, you know, uh, the only thing that could hurt this Emperor is someone getting to their heart. And, but so the Emperor has, is probably going to be careful. We get to start, they're not going to stab him with a knife. They're, an army's not going to get him. Too much. But if an emperor could fall in love, this could be a male or a female here, okay? He could fall in love, and that's how you're vulnerable, but that's what's happening maybe right now. And I'm thinking it's good, it's okay. This is what's supposed to be coming out of this eclipse. Maybe what's being eclipsed for you is just, you know, you being standing there and saying, fuck you to the world, putting up a boundary with every fucking body and everything in the world. And now you're like, boom. I'm putting my foot in the water here. I'm opening up. Yeah. Wow. And you it'll mean you'll be moving away from something, which is how these eclipses work. Something's eclipsed out of your life, you know. Boom. I found a new love. It's pottery. I'm taking my 401k and I'm buying a pottery a store and I'm going to teach pottery and that's what I'll make my living now. Okay, and boom, job, goodbye. Take that job and shove it, you know. It's like, sorry, honey, but I'm sorry being like your, uh, you know, pen cushion and slave. But, you know, boom, I'm out of here and I'm going to do my thing. One way or another, the eclipse coming in like that, you can kind of look at it too as like setting you free, you know. Um, it, when the emperor can loosen up and be emotional and just slop off any your body that's uh, any mental issues that's causing any problems. I mean, you really do anything you want. You're the fucking emperor, right? So cool reading. Leos, uh, thank you guys. Uh, Virgo, thanks for joining me. We're reading through the deck today for the Soul Family Read, focusing on manifestation, spirituality, metaphysics, we'll call it. Um, <clears throat> here, looking at the weekend of the 4th of December with this uh, eclipse at 12 degrees Sag, we all have Sag in the chart, you Virgos. <laughs> uh, so whatever's going on there could be of relevance to you, particularly if it uh, aspects something significantly for you personally in your natal or progressed, I'd say. This is the kind of energy, too, with the eclipse, where I think we really need to look at the progressed charts, because this is, progressed charts speak of the big energy. Um, my opinion, you know, uh, our relationship to the longer cycles seen in the outer planets, uh, uh, you know, so let's get a look at where you're going, Virgo, and all of that. Seven of Cups, emotionally, a little fuzzy going into this. Um, so this is the first challenging one I've had uh, reading through, uh, guys. So I'm going to, let me uh, clarify that in the Two of Wands. Okay, wow, because <laughs> um, here's my concern, okay, going into this, and it's happening Saturday. Uh, I don't think it's a great time to be emotionally unclear about where we're at uh, this could be even turmoil um, this could be just being fuzzy um, you know um, now and I'm clarifying what it is and I get the two of wands here the two of wands and look at how contemplative that is in the ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck it's a very contemplative two of wands usually he's got his little backpack and he's right at the trailhead and the sun's coming up he's getting ready to take a step all right Maybe he is taking a step in the process, right? Here he's just kind of thinking about it, thinking about taking a step. So, wands are actions, okay, guys? There's something that you need to do, and you really can't figure out. It might be two people, but this is a, meant to be an internal reading. If it is two people, be clear, Virgo, that's more than two people. It's more than about person A, person B. I often see the two of ones, though, instead of A or B, being should I stay or should I go. So you're, uh, what you're not clear about here, in, the, in, this, in this reading, the two of ones is looking back down at the seven of cups. 
So it's like you're truly not clear about um, your choice here, some kind of choice. And I think it's more of a stay or go type of choice, okay? Now, this is going to be advice from Spirit in this reading. Page of Pentacles. Wow. Um, there's a number of ways here is advice. This could be actually receiving advice from an earth sign. It's also you being a Virgo. This could be a Virgo card. Also get the feeling as advice here, Virgo, because I do think you have a choice. Think back to when you were young and think back to what it is you really valued and wanted when you were a young person, a teenager, a young adult, if, assuming you're not now. What was it that was in your heart that you really valued and really wanted to do? It's often not something that we're doing now, maybe unfortunately. You know, um, I want to be a park ranger, I think. <laughs> um, be around in nature all the time and everything. So, I think that would help you with this advice because look how contemplative she is, right? So, you're really in this contemplative mode. Um, now, let's see what the outcome gives us some idea of what this is about. Surrender. That's the word that's coming in, in me hard. Surrender, Virgo. Surrender. You're not up for this right now. Just because the eclipse, remember, it's long energy. It ain't going to happen Saturday necessarily like a sword coming down out of the sky. This could go on here for months at least. And definitely the entire month of uh, December is going to be intense. So these could be weeks here. I think weeks, four weeks. So that will put you um, into solid into Capricorn season, which might be more to your liking. This December is, uh, with the eclipse, it's a, um, something's being probably cut out of you. Yeah, you don't really have any control out of it. But um, in, in my opinion, like if this resonates, Virgo, you really haven't been trying to manifest. So you haven't taken control. So what's coming here is what's best for your soul's growth here. And I think it's going to clear up this whatever it is you're not clear about. And I think here with the Page of Pentacles too, like you're really trying, maybe why you're watching this reading, really trying to get a handle on that. And it's just like, it's just faded. It's going to be another four weeks. It kind of is for me too. I kind of know no matter what I do, it's like going to be until Saturn really clears that square to my Venus. It's going to be January. And I've known that for a while. It's been funny how it's to watch it happen to me or experience it happen to me. So what I say surrender is don't waste energy fighting anymore. Don't waste energy. She's contemplative. That's all right. Just really sit with it quietly, solidly. Take responsibility. For whatever it is you don't understand, you're not certain about, and give it some time to come together here. Maybe have a little faith. Thank you, Virgos. All right. Um, Libras, thank you for joining me. Give me a minute. Uh, Virgo, reading got to me. So, uh, Libras, we're doing the Soul Family Read, pulling through the deck today. This is for the weekend of the 4th of December, looking at manifestation, spirituality. And I want to say, in the name of light and love, only so it serves the greatest good spirit guide us here and uh, give us uh, something that's helpful uh, to our Libras. Whatever you need from such a reading as this. King of Cups. <laughs> well, Libras, this suits you, actually. Um, as this uh, archetype of the sun, Libra, even though this is water, uh, because this is the Jim Morrison King of Cups. See how it kind of looks like Jim Morrison there? That's my favorite card in the deck. So, excuse me, now it's getting hot here. I'm in Cancun. We're going to start banging just right in the middle of the pull through. <laughs> no, please. Uh, bear with me. So, my favorite card, you just got the necklace on too with the fish. So, I also think Pisces. Think where that is in your chart, Libra. Um, but I would say that this is a congenial king. This is the most laid back king. 
Um, so it's an interesting way for you to go into the Lionsgate's account, kind of how I'm seeing this. I'm calling it Lionsgate. I think this is the bookend Saturday with this eclipse at 12 degrees Sagittarius. That's relevant. Two degrees off my Mars. Where is that for you? That's going to tell you a lot. But this king is looking in, into the reading. The king's looking at the advice. It's kind of going to be the advice card in this reading for how this light, how this energy is coming together, this uh, eclipse. And it is a masculine energy with the eclipse of the sun. And you're coming in uh, uh, having gained emotional mastery over your own emotions, probably primarily. And so you would be somewhat emotionally intelligent, emotionally self-aware. And I see, too, that you're coming to this with a... Uh, uh, strong, mature heart, but like a young heart and an open heart. I think this is someone, look at this king. Not, I'm not saying the king of uh, cups is always like this, as interpretation of king of cups, but I think in this deck, the ethereal visions, illuminated tarot, you can say this. This is a laid back fucking king. Um, and so this is someone you haven't, whatever's gone on in the past, either just been cool or you haven't let it get you down. <laughs> you know, you, you're like uh, problems, past people, whatever. This is a mature person. You're a mature person. You know, it's like it's like water off a duck's back to you. Water off a duck's back. And you're going in here with a great attitude and great energy and commanding as a king. And this uh, queen of swords. And this queen of swords is looking contemplative. I'm getting chills, and it's not meant to be a love reading, but, you know, it is what it is. So, Libra, I feel like there's an air sign here for you. going to be significant. And they're going to be someone, I think you could call them a peer. Male or female, doesn't matter here. But they would be a peer. They'd be on the same level that you're on. Um, so, you know, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius uh, here. Energy that you're getting. So, air to air is good. Um, and I gotta say, the reason I say it's love, I mean, you know, king and queen, it's like the perfect match. It doesn't matter if you're the woman, that doesn't matter. It's like, that's pretty heavy. Um, and I get the feeling like this person, you may already have, this may already have happened, guys. Check out my singles reading. I'm doing them by sign for the week, uh, now for the first half of, half of December, okay? Uh, uh, so uh, today will be Leo and Scorpio day, so uh, we'll get those out. Um, because I think like someone's coming in for you, and I think you're going to find them, you're going to see them first. Like when you first see them, they'll be looking down, and you'll be looking at them, and you'll feel something go pop, or you know how it works. It's going to be immediate, immediate, you know, um, air to air here. And um, I imagine then they'll catch your eye, but some because that's how it's going to go down, guys. Uh, I can see it. Um, it could be this very weekend. Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> Libras, get back to me, man. If you, I mean, this could be just hot. Just you know, <sighs> you meet this person, and it's uh, boom time, and you guys are having a great week. You know, let's leave it like that. Um, definitely the best read, and it's supposed to be a spiritual read, but, you know, um, sex is spiritual, and, you know, uh, both of you seem to be mature people. I think it's going to be, uh, let me know, I think it's going to be absolutely something coming in that's on fire for you. And if it's not actual sex, it's going to be, I mean, it, it's a very strong sexual magnetic connection that you have with someone. And even if you don't, I mean, you don't even have to talk about it. You're going to know that they want you, and they're going to know that you want them. And it's going to be in the eyes, uh, with these cards in the eyes. Wow, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Scorpios, welcome. This is you doing this uh, Page of Cups. This is for the weekend of the 4th of December, the solar eclipse in 12 degrees Sag. could be affecting you. Two degrees off my Mars. And this is where you're at in terms of manifestation, spirituality, going into this reading. So I'm reading this, okay? Um, page energy. This speaks to like a younger person, Scorpio. 
And this could be Scorpio energy being a page of cups. Um, and you're going into this with some kind of emotional reluctance. You're looking, and we're looking back, you know. So you may be thinking of someone in the past here, uh, Scorpios. And I'm thinking about how we're going. Just Saturday, it's going to hit. This is Lionsgate energy from 8-8, I think, all the way. It's like a book in here at December at the Sagittarius 12 degrees, right? December 4th. But you're looking back at something. I got to tell you, I don't think this is great energy to be in going into this. Yeah. That's odd. I, I, I think what you're looking back at is when you felt like you were independent. So this could speak to emotionally... Uh, so it's not so bad as I think. It's like what you're wanting emotionally is to be the independent, the happy bachelor, to be uh, uh, self-contained, you know, um, someone that is capable. They're, the energy of um, kind of, well, it's fixed energy, fixed water, but fixed earth. So it's just that energy just goes around, you know. I'm a Sag, you know, cardinal mutable. Cardinal energy is like, she's always like going at something, you know. Um, this is just solid, self-contained energy. Um, I think that's what you're wanting here. So, because I like to read this as a personal reading. So I like this a lot as clarification. Because Nine of Pentacles is our right. Right? It's absolutely, I mean, you could say everything's our right. But Nine of Pentacles is our right. We have a right to dignity, independence. Uh, we have a right to be responsible you know, and to take care of ourselves, and um, I think that's what you're looking for. There could be a level, too, where you're just really wanting emotionally, craving uh, stability, stability here. Three of Pentacles, I kind of see this now as an advice card, a mystery card reading for this manifestation. Guys, the way you're going to get this is through cooperation, and this is real cooperation here. And it is also, we never forget the good workers card. So <clears throat> it's almost saying to me, if you want to get this Ten of Pentacles, and you want the Nine of Pentacles, there's a little bit of a, a an idea here that you're kind of being told you already have the Nine of Pentacles, you just maybe don't know it. It's like this very eclipse is going to make things happen pop. So maybe you wake up uh, Sunday morning on the 5th, and all of a sudden you realize, well, no shit, I really am the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not so wrong as I thought. And this is advising hard work and probably collaboration. I mean, definitely it would mean it's not the time to kind of work against others. It's a time to give others a chance uh, to kind of uh, help multiply your actions, you know. Because these guys are really cooperating. Look at them. They're all looking. They're literally putting their heads together like on some kind of project, right? Um, so you may be involved in that and they may help you some kind of like maturing some kind of leveling up something like that you could be popping off like next week you could kind of be a different person wow in a future card so this is going to put you into the hermit mode that's not bad the hermit all the hermit what does wants to know about the self everything about the self like Jesus said above all else know thyself so you're that's really where you're going there's a lot about the self becoming solid you could have a first house significant first house transit going on your natal or progressed guys i would bet you almost anything here um because a lot of this the pinnacles it's like uh you're getting solid you're growing you're learning and now you're going to go in don't be afraid of it you're going to go into the cave and you're going to point your finger at yourself this is not the energy of why did they do that and those motherfuckers and all that. This is like understanding yourself, honestly looking at yourself, not beating yourself up. The hermit is wise. And it's going to be a period of time, guys. So it's um, not a bad energy to be in. It's what it is, Scorps. Thank you, guys. Sagittarius, brothers, sisters, <clears throat> um, son. And Sag, Jupiter, myself, and Mercury and Mars. So this is the Soul Family read, and I'm pulling through the deck here for Sagittarius now, looking at manifestation, spirituality, focusing on this weekend, the 4th of December. Let's see. 
the eclipse of the sun, the lovers. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't want to make it a love reading because uh, trying to focus more on manifestation spirituality and our personal energies, but it's a love reading. You know, when you have the lovers here in this position, it's like love is so much a part of your life right now, this, this beautiful relationship, Sag, that you can't really, because uh, here I try to look at us independently uh, from any love situation, particularly in this reading. Even in a heart spread, I would do that. Um, but when I see the lovers here, it's like love, this love is so much a part of your life that what you are for this moment is this love. You could almost say that, see? I'm not going to read any bad things into it, like, uh, you know, um, toxic uh, dependence or anything. Because, look, it's a soulmate. Jesus Christ, Sag. Congratulations, guys. So what this eclipse is bringing in is a soulmate love. That's as clear as day. I ain't spent a lot of time on this. This weekend, Saturday. But, guys, this happened 8 8, August 8th, Lionsgate. This didn't happen Saturday the 4th of December. This happened August 8th. I'm telling you. Or before. Okay, I think by August 8th when the line when the Lions Gate was there, um, already the manifestations were in. Even before that. So it might even happen in July, Sagittarius, or earlier, who knows? Um, but rest assured with the six of cups in this position, this is kind of an advice now from spirit. Yes, you have a soulmate relationship here. It could be someone you've reunited with from the past. If so, be a, a, a good one. But I'm getting the feeling more about this would be like a soulmate connection. You were with them in the past, all right. Not in this lifetime. <laughs> Two of Cups, Sagittarius. Invite me to the marriage. Ain't no other way to read that. You got the lovers and the Two of Cups. <laughs> And you got the Six of Cups in the same reading. So, you know, thanks, Sagittarius, for turning this spiritual reading into a, a romantic love reading. And hey, I think that's as spiritual as it gets myself. Everything's spiritual. The table's spiritual, Sagittarius. Thank you, guys. Wow. So, Capricorns, thank you. Um, Join in. <clears throat> Just pulling through the deck here. And doing this weekend of the fourth read, thinking of the uh, new moon solar eclipse now. It's masculine energy. It's at 12 degrees Sag. could be relevant for you. Um, it's uh, two degrees off of my natal Mars, so it depends on where it hits. <clears throat> As an astrologer, I'm never real big on trans transit, transit energy, which you hear so much about. I want to see how it's hitting the personal natal or progress chart. Also check out your progress with this. Particularly with eclipses, uh, I think the progress becomes really important. So this is you coming in with Libra energy. Could be significant in your chart. And the Justice card. This is an incredible way to come in. Because I'm reading this. Of how, what's going on with this eclipse? Especially in terms of manifestation, spirituality. It's going back to 8-8, to Lionsgate. And you're getting the justice card, so I, it, it's it's. I want to think of something more profound, but you're getting your just dues, and I gotta think it's positive here. But this is true. This is, I think a very karmic eclipse. So you, I don't think a karma is a punishment. Karma is like lessons. So in other words, with this eclipse, uh, you're receiving the rewards of what you've learned over the past. Over your past life, really. That's how big I think this is. Over your past life. And it uh, it very well could have involved this Libra. Like I believe in the second house. Uh, I have my progressed moon was in Libra. Just moved into Scorpio. Now, um, Libra is still also my uh, progressed ascendant. So you have to look at those things in your chart um, to see. It'll give you directions of what's going on here. But this is a... Uh, you're uh, definitely in the midst of a karmic uh, uh, energy that's uh, much bigger than yourself and your ego self. King of Swords. I see this now as advice from Spirit in this reading. And where you're at now with advice from Spirit. This is a past, present, future read as well. Um, but I think with the King of Swords, um, 
And interest, uh, interesting, the swords are both emphasized. Um, for you, Capricorn, there's a lot going to be involved about um, assert, asserting yourself, uh, boundaries, drawing boundaries. This could even be ultimatums, you know. Um, this could involve a marriage, an ex here, Capricorn, too. Um, and it's saying that you're to be very strong and very direct and very assertive. Um, with this King of Swords, I you know we got both uh, uh, sword cards. Uh, we have the Eclipse cutting something. Um, <clears throat> we have Air here, so Air in your in your chart. The Air signs, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Air houses um, the third house in the uh, seventh house in the eleventh house. All, all of these speaking to what's going on but you could really seriously this eclipse could be cutting something out of your life but I think this is important because I think what this is saying is like what it is it's like a, it's like right now there's a, this uh, energy of it spirits lobbing up a softball and this is this could be a real timing thing where this month with this eclipse this is the time where you're supposed to take a swing at it you know to leave the sword analogy for a minute but this is the time, or this is the time where someone's soft spot's going to be exposed. And this is where you put this kind of energy, but or maybe this is where you sink it in. Something really needs to be done here, needs to be finished um, here. And it's, it's, it's gonna, <laughs> it's just think somehow you're going to be involved. It's going to take your, maybe your tongue acting as a sword to do it here. And it's not a little fight here, a little deal in the future. Knight of Pentacles, looking back. I think when you do this, it's going to lead you into a period of stability, but I also think that there's an Earth sign out there somewhere, Taurus, um, Virgo, or Capricorn personality, and, and not in terms of a love or lover, uh, but someone with Mars energy coming in to help in some practical way, very practical way. Um, it literally could even be protective with this Knight of Pentacles. And whoever this person is, they always were there and they always will be there. And they're just there for you. Okay, they're not there for themselves. They're not, they don't want anything. Um, they just want what's best for you. Whoever, they, whoever it is that would say, all I want is best for you, Mom. All I want is best for you, Dad. All I want is best for you, my friend. Um, you know, my brother, my sister. That's, that's who that is, guys. Thank you. So, Aquarius, thanks for joining me. We're pulling through the deck here. This is a reading for the soul family, reading manifestation, spirituality. And I'm really trying to look and focus at the Lion's Gate energy that I think is kind of wrapping up with this bookend eclipse of the sun at 12 degrees Sagittarius, two degrees off of my Mars. I think it's kind of a big deal. So we're kind of looking at it in that way here. Let's see how you're lining up in relation to that. Pretty damn good. I don't know, Aquarius, you can't get any better than this, guys. Um, the Empress. Um, this kind of shows me where you're at, where, you, uh, where you've kind of been at as we're leading up to this eclipse. Um, so it kind of gives me an idea how we're going into it. And going in as there's someone had the emperor earlier, it can't be, this is even better in my opinion, because with the empress there's not the sense of control that the emperor might have, the lockdown. The empress is the guy and mother of us all. The empress is uh, Venus and Taurus. The empress is strong, divine feminine energy that's uh, centered and grounded here. And I don't know if you could, could you have any better energy to go into this with, so. Let's get an idea of what's going on with this now. The Four of Cups. So you got to think of the eclipse going to cut something from your life. Let's keep this simple. You as an empress still have a heart. No one's ever going to get to you with their armies or by force. No one's going to stick a sword in you. But you still have a heart. And while you're eternally giving and abundant, you know, you do have your own mm, uh, heart to think about here. Okay, Aquarius, and what this is as advice from spirit is I think uh, the advice is to let go of something emotionally that's been 
a burden to you, I think, of what this Four of Cups is saying. But I think it with this eclipse, like something's going to come in to emotionally remove this energy from you. Um, and it's whatever it is, it's something in your life that makes you sort of feel like I don't care. It's like you have to deal with it. This could be a person. Um, and but, but when you deal with it, it kind of it, it takes you down because you're the empress. And it kind of can take you into moments where you just feel emotionally feel like, I just don't care. You know, almost into a depression, um, depressed state. And I think this is what's being cut out for you guys. Look at this. You get Leo, the strength card, the fifth house too, in the natal chart. Also, look at progress charts with this, I should say. Or get a reading. This is a great time to get a reading. And progressed energy is so important, I think, with eclipses. They're going to line up more. They're showing that big picture of energy, what's going on, particularly your sun and moon. And, and so going forward into the future, I think it's like saying you're even going to be stronger. After this eclipse, it's like you're, you're going along and everything's great, but you're kind of carrying this emotional burden. It gets cut out and you're even stronger. Thank you, Aquarius. All right. Wow. Um, Pisces. Last but not least, thanks for joining me, doing the uh, Soul Family Read today, pulling through the deck, reading for all signs. Doing a little reading here, looking very specifically at the 8-8 uh, Lionsgate bookend of the eclipse this weekend on the 4th in Sagittarius at 12 degrees, 2 degrees off of my Mars. And I think they're connected. I'm trying to get a beat here, looking at manifestation, spirituality. A couple of little love reads have popped up. They rear their heads. If that's what's in store for the soul and the soul's purpose, that's definitely what's going to come up. That's what I'm looking at here, guys. Let's see. Knight of Cups. And you are moving um, into the reading. So this is where you're at in terms of this manifestation here. And it's wonderful energy to be in. It could be Pisces energy because it's a Knight of Cups. So... I would say this is you, Pisces, particularly look at your Mars, Knights are always Mars energy, and you're moving into this, uh, what I would say is you're probably a manifester, leave me a comment, I appreciate that, like uh, with this Knight of Cup, you're taking actions, now actions don't necessarily mean hurting anyone, in fact this is an action of offering your cup of love here, but it could be someone manifesting too, like actively manifesting, whatever it is that you do. You're aware of that term. You're doing it. And this is around emotions. And you're definitely wanting to offer your emotions to someone. Now here in this reading, this becomes an advice card here. As also to where you're at. And remember the eclipse is going to cut something out of your life. So I have to see the outcome to do this. Okay. Wow. This is real progression here. You're gonna, you're gonna I'm gonna have to do it this way to show how it uh, progresses from one to the other. So you're coming into this eclipse very much being yourself, being emotionally open, maybe kind of raw. This could be a difficult time for you, Pisces, but it's gonna pay off, and it's bringing in now a confrontation. If not, there needs to be, and this is a verbal confrontation, and it's cutting off and ending something. And it's ending something emotional because look at what you got in the future, the Eight of Cups. You know, you're this when this is over, when you wake up Sunday and it's the 5th of December, emotionally something's going to be gone. You know, this could be a little subtle too. Let me know what you think, guys. And I appreciate that. Like, thumbs up, tell friend, tell friend, subscribe. Thank you.